Now that you've created an account and you're ready to list your boat, you'll need some basic information to start. Tell us what type of insurance you'll be using. If you have a personal policy on your boat, select the recreational option. Next, you'll confirm the location and storage information. After, you'll add a captivating title and detailed description about what your boat has to offer. Make sure to include things that'll set your boat apart from others. Next, customize your cancellation policy to your liking. In the next two sections, you'll add your boat preferences and features. You'll be able to modify these once your listing is submitted. Up next, we have photos. After photos, we'll verify your boat's specs, including the passenger capacity. The next section may look different depending on the insurance you've selected. Here, you'll complete the insurance screening to ensure peer-to-peer -peer coverage. Fill out the proper engine and insurance information for your boat. Now we'll select how your boat is rented out. Will the renter drive themselves? Will you have a captain? Or both? Keep in mind that if your boat is over a certain length or value, you will need to have a U.S. Coast Guard licensed captain at the helm. Once you choose the captain option, our system will automatically connect you to a licensed captain in your area. If you know one personally, you can invite them to the network and have them captain your boat themselves. Before you submit your listing, double check to make sure all your information is correct. Once your listing is submitted, it will go into a pending state. This means an underwriter will review your list to possibly request some additional information or approve your boat. Let a boat setter agent know if you have any questions.